Hello, friends. It is your friend, Crypto Fate. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. Mm. Hopefully, you've all had a good holiday season so far. And, uh, if there's one thing, if you were to exit this video right now and take away one message from me, the message would be to cherish this jolly season, holiday season, whether you Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas or Kwanzaa or, or uh, Hanukkah. Cherish it. Because I believe there is a very, very strong chance that uh, things are going to get really ugly pretty fast coming here in the new year. And in this video, we're gonna go over a couple reasons why. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out why the shit's gonna hit the fan. Don't you hate that? Anyway. Before we go into the uh, Armageddon likely scenario, we'll talk about Bitcoin. Um, actually, on a, uh, I am bored out of my mind right now. It's late at night. I got a lot of sleep already. I'm sitting here staring at my screen. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bored as hell. So I've just been sitting here looking at the charts. I'm looking at the hourly. And you know what? I entered, just entered a little, a little long here. Um, I probably would not follow me on this. I don't imagine, you know, the market's going to open in a good few hours. Um, and maybe I can get a little something out, but really this is nothing serious. A little 600, almost 700,000. We hit, uh, our half a million little target going from our, the 150,000 to a million bucks. We're at 500,000. We're just another 500,000 away from the 150k to one mil challenge. GBIOKIA. I don't know. We'll see if this trade has anything to do with it, but anyway. Uh, this is pretty much the only, uh, quote unquote, bullish thing you're going to hear me say or see tonight in this video is this, this is pretty much it. And, uh, it's probably not going to play out too much at all. Um, but if it does, I'll take it. Why I'm really recording this video is actually because of this and uh, I stole it through from like five people on Twitter who took it from someone else and took it from someone else and took it from someone else and I wanted to see if it was true for myself so is this is this really what it looks like when you compare the 2008 crash to now? Blue line obviously being 2008. The black line being now. How is it? Is it really this similar, right? So I went ahead and got to work. And what I found out was it's actually a bunch of total BS. Just kidding. It's actually freakishly exactly the same. 
um, plus or minus kind of time dimension. Uh, I mean, if, if you just... We could go over this whole darn thing, but like, look, look at this. It's, it's exactly the same, pretty much. Um, and when you really put it together, I mean, obviously this picture does a better job. This does a better job. But when you stretch it and shrink it, just a little bit. Ooh -wee. It is right there. The weekly chart, by the way. Here's the weekly. I mean, hell. It, let's just let's just even forget about that. And and uh, you know what? What do our what does market cipher tell us here? Beautiful blood diamond X on on the weekly there. Wow, would you look at that? Hiking a sheet candles. Green, red, green, red, green, red, green. Ooh, this is a nice little turn right here. Dual band strength index. The DBSI showing a 13 on the bear reversal to a minus two on the bull. This is pretty clear on the weekly. Uh, then you come down here to market cipher B. You see a beautiful outward curve BWAP wave heading to the downside uh, this momentum wave likely flipping you know what happened last time on an outward quote when this happened boom right here boom right here on this candle price came down 12% and this this was just uh, this was August. End of August. November 2022. Let's go to November maybe 2008. Uh, 2007 2007 very similar kind of look at the how it's how it's just just look at this right it's just beginning coming into the red just the beginning come back to now just the beginning And I recommend you do this yourself, you know, just even copy and paste it or put it on the same chart if you know how to do it. It is. Almost an exact copy. RSI has just changed colors. RSI has just changed colors here. Well. Cherish your time for the jolliness. And you know, I, I think companies are, are kind of taking it easy right now. There's There's been a lot of layoffs, right? But I think there's going to be a lot more come in January. Um... There, there's uh, it, a repossession, car repossessions are spiking hard. They're saying that's a sign. There's so many signs, so many signs. And really, I mean, there's just even fundamental, fundamentally, not even technically, there's, it's, you don't even have to look at a chart. 
You don't really have. You don't even have to look at a chart to know the kind of uh, trouble. As, as as you know the, the kind of trouble that we're in but as traders we are neutral to it we are benign to it and uh, to us it's opportunity and it's gonna happen with or without us it's gonna happen whether we cry or not you can let it choose to affect you negatively or positively to define you negatively or positively and uh listen if i'm wrong then i will proudly say i was wrong i i i don't have a problem with with uh being wrong doesn't happen that often. Things have been going down. And I, I, I don't believe crypto is strong enough yet to defy... all of the other markets Bitcoin it's already been coming on down and uh, no end in sight it's just forming lower lows on the money flow Lower lows on the money flow. And these are, you know, this is pretty thick. These are thick. This is pretty thick. As far as the momentum waves go. And, you know, you say, well, well, crypto face, well, CF, you know, uh, last time we were in there, came down here, it was the bottom now right here. You know, look at these RSIs. They came down and brute curve, curve back up. These are down. These are down. There is no sign of curving back up right now. Not at all. Not even like 2015, 14, 15. This is down. where it's got to so much to where it's got to stay there for a while just like when it's up so much it's got to stay there for a while just like when it's up so much it's got to stay there for a while this is down so much it's got to stay here for a while and with the price the way it is listen i i i, I it's it's i think it's clear Take a look at the two day. Uh, boy, look at that. Uh, now it is the weekend. Technically, look at that anchor to the trigger wave to the downside right here. Up in the green, tiny bit. What do we say in the bear runs? It's big time in the red, a little time in the green. A lot of time in the red, a little time in the green. Just like the bull markets where it's a lot of time in the green and a little, a long time in the green, a little time in the red, a long time in the green, a little time in the red. This time it's different. It's the opposite. And, um, yeah. Yeah.
for the two days not looking that good. Clear this up a little bit. Man, look at that blood diamond. We we what? A bidi bidi bidi. Ooh, look at the dual band strength. Look at the DVSIs. Yikes. Blood diamond. I'm making ashes. It's kind of holding, sitting on this spider line for now. For now. Twelve hour, slightly inward or curved. Yellow wave, momentum, you know, nothing really to see there. Sideways BS, it's the weekend. I'm looking forward to the week to see what the data shows us. And uh, the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, you know, uh, again, I, I, I don't follow me on this long. The whole point, you, 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 you want to enter trades where you have your higher time frames backing up your small ones uh, so don't mistake me being in a trade off of a, a, the hourly chart showing maybe a little something and I mean a little something I'm looking maybe for like 10 grand or, or 6 grand to make here you know if that I'll, I'll cut that shit right now I don't care I'll exit this trade right now I don't care Probably shouldn't even be showing it. Uh. And technically, there's still time. You know, we we just went down pretty hard this past week. Don't be surprised if there's a little bit of, a little bit of upward action that's going to get sold off into. There is still a lot of money left in the markets. A whole lot. And uh, it really doesn't take, it only takes one kind of big group, one firm institution to say we need to liquidate and be first to cashing our positions out because we don't want to be left holding these bags. And then the rat race begins. Man, we've been talking about seeing this for a long time. There's been a lot of bears out there for years, you know, on you know, talking about how this shit's got to hit the fan eventually, printing all this fake money and the things we've been doing in, for the past good few years. Monetary policy. It's all been terrible. Terribly ran. Terrible decisions. Um, and you know the numbers when 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 they talk about numbers all oh, those are the best the people spent more money this christmas than they have before in it, it, you gotta you gotta include the inflation the dollar ain't worth what it is before so no shit I really, I should actually look up the hard numbers. I should actually go the hard numbers. You know, if the record, let's just say it was one billion, and this year it's one point five, well, the value of the dollars technically gone down eight x times or however much. So no shit, the the, the amount of dollars in Venezuela, a dollar a mil, it's millions. In, in Venezuela, they spend a million times more every Christmas because their their currency is so shit and just overinflated. So don't let that fool. I'm not letting that fool me. Not letting that fool me. Uh, it, it, this looks like short. It, this is. Uh, ETF shortened. It's 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 time to be like a midget. Um, um, call me a midget. I'm short. On everything. Macro. And you know what? Hey, if it turns out that, uh, you know, this doesn't happen and, you know, there's a little 
you know, we just, oh, Willy Wonka on and goes sideways and whatever, then great, you know, great. I'd rather be wrong than, than us go down 50%, than the markets go down 50%. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. If the Lord came to me and said, Crypto face, thou have the choice. You can either be wrong or save the people of your country and the world 50% on their 401k IRA bullshit. I'd say, Lord. Can we do both? Can we call it? To can we do 25% so I'm half right and they're half fucked? Just kidding. Say, Lord, I'll, I'll take the error. I'll take that sacrifice for my people. All fun and games aside, um, that's pretty much that's that's pretty much it. I I think uh, my 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 thesis, my theory has not changed about the relief in the holiday season. And come January, it's hangover time. There is no reason for anyone to hold back on dumping people and firing people and selling off. In fact, there is motivation to sell off. The new year begins. It's not on their tax. It's not on their taxes. They didn't want to sell off at the end of this year because it's on their taxes. That is what they have to pay the next month. They want to wait to pay on those gains. So, come January. I think the shit's going to hit the fan a lot more. Where will you be? What are you going to do? Market Cypher is there for you. Plenty of people, thousands, tens of thousands that are using it and kicking butt. Whether it's going up or down, sideways. Left, right, sort blown around. Anyways. I ain't going anywhere. And, uh, there's no money like short money. Some of my best trades, most profitable trades were shorts. And, um, we're just going to stick to the same, same rules. Take the small fish... Small wins, small losses, big wins. Small wins, small losses, big wins. Boy, that was a long silence. I kind of was just spacing out there, thinking, soaking it in. So, uh, <laughs> other than that, I might live stream right now. I'm going to live stream. So, uh, thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Kwanzaa. You're all terrific. You're all terrific people, and you deserve freedom in wealth and health and to enjoy this life so let's break this bread like Jesus said and be in control and win